All right, how do you grow your business in this market that we're currently in right now? Well, bottom line is there's no doubt that the market is shifting. Uh, we've got five pieces of input to give you so you can actually take part in this market. Number one is this, you've got to shift your mindset to opportunity. Uh, this is more of a mental game now than anything. Uh, That's right. Don't get in the funk of thinking, man, rates are high, people aren't gonna qualify, uh, sellers are digging their heels in. Uh, shift your mindset. Really, it's starting the day off and, and when you get to your office, or your place of lead generation, really focusing in and saying, listen, I'm gonna make it happen. I am good enough, uh, I've prepared for this and there is opportunity in every market. Uh, during the days of all the short sales and when the world was on fire back in the recession, uh, some people that, that are in the business today still had their best years in 2009, right? That's right, because they shifted to the market. Yep, they, they skated to where the puck was going instead of following the puck. Uh, number two is identify those motivated buyers and sellers. Bottom line is you control the things that you control, don't try and follow things that you can't control. Number three, price properties ahead of the market. Do not chase the market. And one of the things about knowing how to price the market is statistics, right? That's right. You got to understand what's going on in your local market. Become a student of numbers. Uh, numbers are great indicators, right? They absolutely are. With the lead indicators and the lag indicators and combining those two together gives you that predictable outcome. And really, th that's why we are so big on script practice uh, and role playing is because you gotta be able to have those conversations with your clients about why you're pricing it a certain way and why you're pricing where the market's going versus where you think the market has been 30 days ago. That's right. One of the next steps is what? Bulletproof that transaction. And that can be done through educating yourself, whether it's through script practice, like you just mentioned earlier. Two is actually digging deeper into following these trend analysis. And also three is finding out what these buyers and sellers are wanting yep. and, and adhering to what they want. And you've never truly achieved in real estate, right? Like you don't win in real estate long term. Like it's, it's an infinite it's game. It's an infinite right? game. Yeah. So with everything changing, Bulletproofing your transaction is bulletproofing your skill set. That's right. Uh, getting ahead of things, um, figuring out and mentally uh, coming to the resolve of how am I going to make this work? Number five is this, and it's probably our favorite, is do more with less. Uh, look into your finances, look into your people, your lead generation, and really look at that 80-20 principle. What is the top 20% dollar producing activities um, and resources and time and, and sometimes even people uh, that you need to focus and hone in on. If you can do anything, just cut 10% of your business today or your expenses. Cut 10% today, you'll thank yourself later. Another great exercise we do and, and we ask our team this all the time was if we had to cut 25% out of the budget, where would you start? We ask these two questions every single year to ourselves, the leadership team, is what do I need to stop doing and nobody would notice, and what do I need to double down on? Ask yourself those two questions, and I guarantee you'll have some clarity around your business and where you can cut and do more with less. So those are our five tips on how to not only manage the shift, but excel within the shift. Uh, it, it's nothing crazy, and, and a lot of these principles are out of the book, Shift. Uh, go ahead, and our, our recommendation is to pick that book up. Read it, uh, study it, and really see how you can engage your clients at a higher level and come out of the shift with a lot more market share.